Hello everyone. My name is Wang Zhao from Medical School of Chinese BRA. The topic I am reporting today is development and validation of algorithms for sleep state classification and sleep apnea or hypopnea event detection using a medical grade variable physiological monitoring system. I will introduce the content from the following aspects, background, material and methods, results, discussion and conclusion. The so part one is background. Sleep is critical to one's mode, cognition, physiological internal, environmental balance, and resilience. To appropriately present one's sleep condition, sleep is commonly classified into multi stages. According to the AASM, sleep is divided into five stages wake REM and non REM. Among the numerous criteria for sleep state classification, the four class sleep state criterion is more commonly adopted. In recent years, the prevalence of sleep disorders has been globally increasing and attract more attention. Compared with the other types of sleep disorders, sleep apnea or hypopnea is a potential serious one that is likely to lead to sudden and severe medical conditions. Accurate, accurate classification of sleep stage and detect, detection of sleep apnea or hypopnea events are essential to the analysis of sleep architecture and identification of various sleep-related disorders. For a typical sleep analysis, PSG test is the gold standard, which involves the EEG, EOG, EMG, ECG, and other measurements. However, subjects have to wear manifold attachment, which cause extra mental and physical burdens during the test. And this procedure is also time-consuming as well as labor-intensive for clinical specialists. To overcome the above drawbacks, researchers are searching for methods to automatically analyze sleep based on cardiopulmonary physiological signals that can be relatively easily acquired by, by low-cost variable devices. Studies have shown that ECG and respiratory signals can be used for sleep stage and apnea or hypopnea event detection. Despite the large number of sleep stage classification and event detection algorithms that have been developed, most of them are based on internal validation of the dataset itself. And the performance of these algorithms needs to be further validated with data collected from real clinical settings. In this research, we developed sleep analysis algorithms focusing on four class sleep state classification and apnea or hypopnea event detection. To validate the accuracy of the algorithms, two independent validation studies were conducted using a medical grade variable system to collect physiological data from patients in both clinical and home settings. The part two is material and methods. Material and methods include four aspects. First, I will introduce variable device used in validation studies, SynCycle. The system consists of three parts, including the monitoring terminal of accompanying physiological parameters, various networking and data transmission, and the central monitoring system. It has three comfortable electrode patches to capture the single lead ECG signals at a sampling rate of 200 Hz. Two sensing bands for monitoring the two types of breathing behavior at a 25 Hz sampling rate. Sensor also has a three axis accelerometer that is integrated into a data acquisition unit to capture posture and motility information. 
uh, the sampling rate is 25 Hz. Additionally, a uh, vast oximeter communicates with SynCycle via Bluetooth, whose sampling rate is 1 Hz. Second, I will introduce sleep state classification algorithm. We use the public sleep database SHHS for model training. 4,887 4, subjects were selected to construct the dataset from the SHHS. To align our full class sleep state classification, we converted the sleep state data to full class. Our feature extraction was processed on either one thirty. 30-second epoch or a large window consisting of several consecutive epochs. Epoch. This moving step set was set at one epoch. A total of 152 features were extracted from our interval, respiratory signals and cardiopulmonary coupling. Uh, we ra randomly split the dataset into a training set and a validation set at a rate of 4 to 1. All the feature vectors were fed into two 16-unit BRSTM layers and one fully connected layer with four unit outputs corresponding to the four sleep stage classes. Five-fold cross-validation was performed to test our model in the training phase with an average accuracy of 78.84%. The optimal model was selected to further validate the performance on our in-house data set. A sleep event detection algorithm was used to determine sleep apnea or hypopnea through thoracic and ab abdominal respiratory movements. In the sig signal pre-processing step, we apply a median filter and a bandpass filter to the collected respiratory signals to remove outliers and noise. The denoised signals are used to calculate relative tidal volume based on the detected peaks and thrills of relative tidal volume. We calculate the amplitude of respiration series. The processed amplitude of respiration series was used to generate our key value baseline respiratory amplitude, which was defined as the median of the second to fourth highest respiratory amplitude within the first two minutes. The respective threshold for apnea CTA and hypopnea CTA was then defined below. The following criteria was used to determine sleep apnea or hypopnea events. To evaluate the alg algorithm performance, uh, 600 subjects were randomly selected from the SHHS database. There were 300 cases, uh, each with AHI is less than 5 and AHI is greater than or equal to 5. The accuracy for the two-class AHI classification was 92.18%. 90, About validation study design, our study consists of two independent Sub-studies to validate sleep stage classification and sleep apnea or hypopnea event detection in clinical and home settings, respectively. Sub-study E was conducted in the sleep lab of Chinese PLA General Hospital, Beijing, China. All the research participants enrolled in this study were both SACO and PSD. Aside from a well-controlled clinical laboratory, environment. We also conducted another substudy tool in the home environment. All enrolled participants were asked to wear a SunCycle and a CFDA-approved device for sleep apnea or hypopnea event detection due to the unavailable of PSG outside the hospital. 
An overview of two sub-studies was illustrated in figure. A total of 30 participants who were suspected of sleep apnea in, in a respiratory clinic and meet the inclusion and exclusion criteria were enrolled in sub-study 1. Before further analyze, clinical clinicians first determined the sleep and awake points from the PSG data to extract the valid, valid sleep duration. Every, every 30 second epoch of the sleep duration uh, was then manually classified by clinicians into four categories. Apart from sleep state classification, we also compared sleep apnea or hypopnea event detection by sun cycle with PSG. Among various sleep disorder symptoms, we focused on apnea or hypopnea, which was which were the two most common ones. A cut of AHI equal to five events per hour was used as a threshold in clinical practice for determining whether a subject had sleep apnea or hypopnea or not. A total of 35 patients who meet the criteria of our hospital's respiratory department was enrolled in, in their study. The AHI value of SANSEC and the PS uh, were compared to validate SANSEC's sleep apnea or hypopnea event detection performance. Part 3 is results. In sub-study 1, compared with PLC for sleep state classification, the confusion matrix showed that the accuracy of BRSTM for four class sleep state classification. The classification of weak had the best performance. 8 out of 30 had an accuracy of more than 80% and there were no cases with an accuracy below 70%. The best case by Sansaco was 87.73%, and the worst case was 71.47%. Compared with PSG for sleep apnea or hypopnea event detection, Sansaco had a sensitivity of 100% in detection, HI of 5 and above. The specific positive predictive value, negative predictive value, and the total accuracy was shown in table. Compared with CFDA approved device for sleep apnea or hypopnea event detection, SASACO had a had a sensitivity of 93.1% in detection, in the detection, detecting AHI of 5 and above. In addition, specific, specific T, PPV and NPV, and the total accuracy was shown in table. The part 4 is discussion and the conclusion. Our key contributors was summarized as follows. For the sleep state classification algorithm, 152 features were extracted from ECG and respiratory signals. Then the BRSTM network was leveraged for Four class sleep state classification. As for the sleep event detection algorithm, a new method was established to automatically detect sleep apnea or hypopnea by thoracic and abdominal respiratory movements. Unlike many prior studies, sleep analyze algorithms proposed in this study was first trained and validated on a large 
public data set before external validation was performed with it collected from collected both from clinical and home settings. Three, compared with existing literature based on a single type of sleep analysis algorithm only, our study includes both types of sleep analysis, empowering us to achieve a holistic and robust analysis. Four, we adopted a medical grade variable physiological monitoring system Centaco, to collect physiological data. Both the performance of the algorithm and the system was validated in real clinical and home settings. The preliminary study showed that the system equipped with the algorithm can be used for sleep measurement and analysis. Admittedly, Admittedly, there are some limitations to our study. First, the participant enrolled in the two sub study was not identical. Uh, they were allowed to choose to sleep and uh, uh, sleep to sleep in clinical or home settings. However, since each sub study was independent. There were no substantial impact on our validation results. Second, the number of patients and health individuals in substandard one was not matched, which was why the sleep apnea or hypopnea event detection algorithm showed higher accuracy on the external test data set than on the validation data set. Third, while well, our stuff study significantly improved the accuracy of sleep stage classification. The accurate classification between N3 and NEONR remained challenging. Thank you.